ain't fooled you, bitch! Woo! Ha 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 ha! Fooled ya! Ha ha ha! Fooled you once, shame on me. Fooled you twice, shame on you. Fooled you three times, well now you're just a pea brain. Salutations viewers, my name is Game Dame and welcome back to Little Nightmares 2. So, we have just gotten away from scary, scary TV man. But yet, we still don't have our best friend, Yellow. Oh wait, no, we're not away from him yet! What a way to start off the episode. Sheesh! Unfair how you could be that fast. Is he the train man? Look, what do you talk? What do you talk? What do you talk? You can talk, you can talk, you can bicker, you can talk. You can talk, 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 you can bicker all you want, but it's different than it was. No, it ain't, no, it ain't. But you gotta know the territory. I'm pretty sure that's, oh, that's the music man. Never mind. That is not the one I'm thinking of. We are doing great right now. Are you kidding me? As soon as I say we're doing great, we get fucking taken. God damn! It's okay, we got this. I just gotta run right through. I cannot slow down. Oh, that fucked me. Oh my god, we good. You can't catch me now, media man. That's what I'm gonna call him, media man. Cause he is using the TV. So we got Blubberbutt, Longneck Susie, and the Hunter, and media man. Media man ain't got nothing on me. I mean, TV man probably makes a lot more sense, but media man sounds cooler. Meaty Man sounds a lot cooler. <laughs> Come on. Get up. Get up, Green. You can do it. I know. You got fucking destroyed right there. <gasps> That's yellow. So yellow probably is in like an upside down. Oh my gosh. She's taking me to the tower to go rescue her. That's where she is. That's what we need to get. Is her yellow. My love. Green is on my way. Green is on his or her way to save you. Green and yellow, green and yellow. Two pretty colors of sunshine. I do love the slow-mo. I love the slow-mo. I love, th this is probably my favorite segment so far. Of the entirety of Little Nightmares 2. Wow, very cinematic-y. Oh, I'm walking there. Come on. Am I gonna face off Media Man here? Oh shit. Am I too weak to face off Media Man? I'm letting my hat just float away? Wait, no, I have the power of God and anime on my side. Ooh! That's right, I have that, the, that weird TV superpower. I wonder if I didn't go and collect.
those like shadows uh, that I would have been fucked. Oh, was that not supposed to happen? Okay, okay, so I don't know exactly what I'm doing right now. I think I just got to keep hitting him. I see now. I see. I see. I had to go off to the right and left. I Ooh, that is very smart. You think you can get me, media man? You can't fucking touch this. You can't touch this! I have the power of God and anime on my side. You can't get to this. No siree. And I'm gonna get all those people back that you took away from me and others. Wow. I got some pretty fucking amazing powers. Green is a Jedi. Green's a fucking Jedi. Oh my gato. I guess we're still not gonna wear the hat. Yo, Green is gonna go in there and save the day. That is so aesthetically pleasing to look at. I am loving the, this battle. Like all of it right now is so insane. And now the dream that we always had through the TVs. Now that we have defeated Media Man. Everything floats. Definitely getting some it vibes right about now. We all float. Oh. This is so crazy to look at. Yo, we got portals on fucking portals here. It looks like I gotta keep going through. I wasn't sure if there was something else. Was I supposed to be going that way? I guess I just gotta follow the noise. Alright, so we're not going in there. What's behind door number four? I just wanna listen. Nope, not that one. So does this twisted door. This is crazy. This is so cool. What's behind those other doors?
I don't know what to expect here. Am I supposed to keep going through the same one? Nope, now it's a different one. This one? Just gotta- it's like the Lost Woods. You just gotta listen for the music to get ever so louder. And then you're good to go. Lost Woods from Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time for- for those of you guys who don't know. I wonder who the final person is that we get to fight. Okay, so it's- I think it's gotta be this last door over here then. Yep. All right, so it's another area over here. So it's this door. This door. <gasps> You've got to be fucking kidding me. It's okay, we're good. We're good. We're solid. What is this heavy ass breathing? Yellow? Yellow! What am I- I have no- what am I supposed to do? What does this mean? It's like an overgrown yellow version. I gotta get the fuck out of here. Yellow, I'm sorry! Holy shit. Well, okay, I was probably supposed to wait. I'm probably gonna die if I move. Thank you, yellow. Big yellow. All right, we got to get this. Yeah. 
Oh. Fuck! Now I'm just screaming at her? How am I supposed to dodge that? What am I supposed to fucking be doing? <laughs> This is tough. This is really tough. I don't know if, like, whatever this is, is taking on the form of yellow in just a much bigger format, but, like, this is cool. Oh, oh. Do I have to do that door again? I feel like I do. Ow. Fucking hard! You bitch! Woo! Ha 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 ha! Fooled ya! Ha ha ha! Fooled you once, shame on me. Fooled you twice, shame on you. Fooled you three times, well now you're just a pea brain. I'm just trying to save you, yellow. Yo, we got this. We're definitely gonna fucking. Destroy this music box. Your world is crumbling. Alright, I'm like so focused right now. Hey, bitch, get over here. Wow. 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 Fuck. How am I supposed to? This is a hard, hard battle. Like, I have to try to trick her. Oh, God, that was so close. All right, I have to do this immediately. That is so- how did I almost fucking get it the first time? Alright, I feel like there's a rotation to this.
Yeah, that was not it. So I have to get her over there, so I have to dodge that hand. Oh my god, all right, we cannot, we cannot do that. We cannot do that. We really have to fool the fuck out of her. Bullshit. Is it because I came out that other end? Alright, the hay. I have to do that again. This is so hard! It's because I'm bad. I really need to get that, um... Fucking... Shit, dude! Fuck! All right, we got it. This is tough. This is tough. You have got to be joking. I was so close right there. I'm fucking- I did not mean to do that. I keep thinking I can jump with it, but I can't. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Kristen, you're so impatient. I missed my chance. Whoo! That was hard. Holy shit. That was hard. That was very hard. Because I'm also impatient. That's why it was hard for me. Come here. I gotta ask you a question. Don't worry, I won't. I'll make sure I swing it by you first. <laughs> Wait, how the fuck am I supposed to get it to her now?
fuck out of here. Hey! 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 Hey, uh, hey, uh. Nope! You ain't coming back, baby. I just ended, yes, sorry, a little excuse for herself. Your big self, and now we got Yellow back in her normal form. So whatever Media Man did to her made her fucking massive. Ew, what's this goop gup? Oh, there's an eye right in there. I am way too close. My thumb was slipping. Oh, this is not good. Ew. Ew. Jack! Don't let go! <gasps> Yellow betrayed me. Yellow fucking betrayed me! Wow. It's always yellow, man. I got betrayed. Top 10, top 10 anime deaths of all time. Top 10 anime betrayals of all time. Ew, now I'm just sitting in the goopiness. Oh god, I can't believe I was betrayed by my own kind nonetheless. And I saved her too. What a bitch. Now I'm just inside whatever this is. Am I the king of the goop? I feel like I am king of the goop. King of the eyeball goop. Oh, God. Constantly watching. Now, am I going to be big and scary? What is going on here? So I just sit in this chair and grow up. Constantly waiting. For yellow? Big yikes. I don't know how you could wait that long. Going up for the bathroom to eat, sleep? <gasps> Do you eventually become the media man? Do I become the media man? The next watchful eye of this place?
I think that's what happens. I now become the evil that I have fought against because I was betrayed. Yup. Yup. Wow. So I am the evil which I sought. Whew. Wow. What a fucking twist. I was not expect I was expecting it to be like the first game where I would leave and that is that, but no, I'm really glad that they took this route. So it's just a never-ending cycle. My goodness. A never-ending cycle of the ever-watchful eye, picking on its next prey. It was probably me all along because I have that power in me, so that makes sense. Oh my gato. That totally sets it up for like a third one. Is that the end? That really is the end. Oh my gosh. Wait, that was so incredibly good. Like, I loved this. So th it was still just as good as the first one. Like, the this is a true sequel to Little Nightmares. When I played this, I thought, like, I was going back and playing the first Little Nightmares. I love the co-op aspect of it. I think it's really good. I think the enemies were a lot creepier in this one, uh, for sure. And uh, I love the concept of the portals between the two TVs. And I thought that was really cool. But that twist at the end, I did not see coming until I saw Yellow go there first and then see me. And then I had to have her catch me and she left me high and dry. As soon as she held on to my hand for that long, I was like, she's going to fucking drop me. Big yikes. That was really good. I really, really enjoyed that game. So I know there's probably something at the end here, so we're just gonna go through as fast as we can. But like, I think overall the game, the, I, I don't, I don't know what it is. The depth of both of the games has always gotten me more so in the second one than the first one, but it's just like depth of field. So it's, it's definitely hard for me, I guess, but like overall, like, like, this game, I would definitely rate, like, both of them, I would definitely rate them, like, a 9 out of 10. There's really not much I didn't like about either game. I just think maybe the depth of field could be changed, but I would literally rate this, like, a 10 out of 10. Uh, I just don't feel confident enough to give it full marks, because I feel like if I look back at my gameplay, I'll figure out something that um, I probably didn't like about it. But the puzzles were interesting, especially the elevator puzzles. They did reiterate a couple puzzles and that's not a bad thing. It just makes you think, oh, I've done this before. I, it's, I've done this in the past, so it's, I should redo it again. But I do like the length. So I would say nine, I would say maybe eight out of 10 for the first one because lengthwise, no, nine out of 10 for the first one. And I would, I would definitely give this like a 9.5 out of 10. Only because of depth of fields, uh, it really fucks with me. But overall, it's not terrible to the point where like, I want to give a whole mark off of it. I think this game was really well done. Like, I loved it. Loved the first one. I really hope the third one comes out. And I wonder what story they're going to attack now on it. So I feel like Yellow is going to be in all three of... Well, if there is going to be a third one. So Yellow was in the first. Got too hungry. Started to eat the her help that she received from, like, the gnomes. And then the second one, she received help from another one of her kinds. Tiny humans. I don't really know what they're called. Um, and then she betrays him. And goes off to escape by herself. So now, what's what's the next thing that they're going to do here? What other new monsters can they introduce? God, this series is so good. Like, not series. Yeah, not yet at least. But these games are so good. Like, if you guys haven't played the first one, I recommend you play first and then the second one just in straight succession. 
you will not be disappointed by this game because to me i i really strive for story and a game that can give you a good story without actually talking at all in any way shape or form that means they've done a phenomenal job they've done such an exquisite exquisite look at me using different terminology just like just they did such an they did it so well to the point where they're able to convey their story without having dialogue and i feel like a lot of games can't do that because uh a lot of their games yeah you need dialogue for it but with this like they did it in such a way that the atmosphere spoke for itself and i really really liked that about this game i think it was so well done um but I think we're getting through to the last bits of the credits now. So I hope there is um, something at the end. Because there was in the first one. So I don't know how many more of this there is. Oh, there we go. Oh, literally nothing at the end. Okay. Well... Thank you guys so much for being part of this Let's Play with me. I thoroughly enjoyed this. I thought it was a fantastic game and I highly recommend it if you guys have not played the first and or second one and then just play them back to back. You will not be disappointed with Little Nightmares and Little Nightmares 2. Literally, probably in my like top 20 games, I literally have to go through the list of all the games I've played and then probably rate them by then. But for 2020 and 2021, I would definitely rate these in my top five for games like that. But. That is all the time I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I highly appreciate your time as always. Please do not forget to subscribe and or follow not only to my YouTube, but to my Twitch. You guys know where my YouTube is at, but you can find my Twitch at twitch.tv slash thegamedame. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.